tragic. This little girl called Claudia was turned into a vampire at a very young age. If you haven't seen the movie Vampire Chronicles or Interview with a Vampire, I suggest you go and watch it. All you need is some white face paint, a little theater makeup palette, a fluffy brush, a setting brush or powder brush and a really fine angled or arts brush. For costume you will need a curly blonde and of course a green hooded cape. So I start by covering my eyebrows with the lightest shade in the wound palette and then I brush it with the spoolie that I showed you and I brush it up and down because that's how the hairs get most of the color and then you have a better finish. If you already have blonde eyebrows you can skip this step. So we're starting off with putting white face paint all over our face and we are blending this really well so there are no harsh lines. You actually do apply this as if this is your foundation. For blending I'm using the expert face brush from Real Techniques. done with this then we are going to set our foundation with a powder of our choice it's better to use translucent powder or light highlighter to give your skin that really glowy translucent ghosty finish I'm using the one from Art Deco from the Dita Vontis limited edition and then for eyes what we're going to do is just taking the angled brush and taking a little bit of that darker nude tone from the little wound palette I like to call it and then make a line on your lower lash line and then blending that out with the fluffy brush to make your eyes look really deep and they're like We move over to the light veins that are showing through her porcelain skin and the first times that I tried to do it it was like those really harsh lines and the second time I tried it again and then I mixed the blue color of the wound palette with some water and then I had uh, like a light water color uh, consistency and then I took my brush and then it was somewhat decent. I still had some harsh lines which I smoothed out with my fingers and tried to make more translucent. That is the finished look. It's really simple as I said now multiple times. And yeah, this was my first Halloween tutorial. I hope you had fun and I will talk to you next time.